Most of y'all think I done already flipped. What's good, PD peeps? Today, Tablet Tuesday. That means I'm going to show you how to do the Flip City effect using the PowerDirector Mobile Video Editor app. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use PowerDirector, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in PowerDirector Mobile. The Flip City effect lets you create a city sandwich by turning one video clip upside down and on top of another video clip and applying a mask and an overlay to make it look all fancified. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Flip City effect for your videos. Let's flip out. First, you need to bring your video clip into the main video track. So you want to tap on the media icon. You want to make sure that you're on the video tab. Go to the location on your device where the video is located. Tap on the video you want to use and tap the plus sign. Next, you want to bring the second video clip into an overlay track. So tap on the overlay icon. Go to the video tab. Go to the location on your device where the video is. Tap on that video and tap the plus sign. So now I'm going to tap back and I'm going to tap back. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this front of this video because it's kind of long. So I just want to move it to the position where it starts moving and that's good. And then for the clip that's in the overlay track, I'm just going to trim the end of this off and that's good there. I'm going to move my playhead to a position where I want to kind of see both of these clips at the same time. The next thing I want to do is flip my overlay track video upside down. So I'm going to place my finger over this rotation icon and I'm going to flip it upside down. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a mask to help blend the two clips together. So I'm going to tap on the mask icon and I'm going to pick the linear mask. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and flip this linear mask the other way around so that the part that's see through is on the bottom of this clip. And I'm also going to just move this down a little bit just so that I know where the mask is going to begin. And that's good for starters. Probably going to make a few tweaks to that in a minute. So now I want to go ahead and resize this clip and place it approximately where I want it. Once again, I'll have to tweak it and do some things. So I'm going to tap on the video track where there's nothing at. Now I'm going to tap back on the overlay clip. And I'm going to rotate it a little bit and resize it and move it up to approximately where I want it to be. If you need to rotate it again, you're going to have to get back to the rotate icon and then drag it back. So just play with it until you think you got it right where you want it. So now I'm going to go back to mask. I'm going to tap on mask and I'm going to move this mask to a position where I think it should be. I think I had it a pretty good spot for starters. And now I'm going to go ahead and move this feather up to feather some of the mask. And you really want to feather where it's pretty much just the cloud that you can see. You definitely don't want to see that line. So you want to move this so that you don't see the line. See how you can see this line between the two, the two video clips. I'm going to move this up until I don't see a line between the two anymore. And I can still see most of the image above it. So I can tap on a video track again to see how it looks. If I were to play this back, There's a bit of a line, we can fix that up, but it looks pretty good so far. If I tap on it again and you tap on mask, you can go ahead and make changes to it until you get it exactly how you like it, where you don't see a line in between the two. And that's pretty good there. I could tweak it some more, but you get the idea. You want to move the mask until you get it right. Keep feathering it out. If you tap on the overlay icon, tap on the video tab and go to the location where the videos are that you want to use as the overlay, tap on that video, tap the plus sign. 
Then you want to drag it into position. And if you want, you can go ahead and trim these down. And you want to go ahead and tap on that overlay clip, size it out so that it fills the screen. Then you want to go ahead and tap on blending because you want to blend the clips all together. For this one, I'm going to tap on screen. I'm going to bring it down some. And you press play. Now we flipping fancy. If you like what you see, I'll leave a link to try out Power Director Mobile in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.